first graders. Hi everybody, it's Mr. Sandoval here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have a special announcement today. This is gonna be our last lesson of second step. You guys have done so well and got to this point. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna review some important second step skills that we've learned throughout this whole school year. You guys have been doing an amazing job and I'm sure you're practicing all these skills that you've been learning in our lessons. So let's go ahead and start diving into our last lesson for this year. So in our previous lesson, we learned about handling name calling. So last time we learned that when someone calls you a mean name, you can do a few things to help this situation, okay? The first thing you could do is you can totally ignore that person or you can speak assertively. And an example of that would be um, telling someone that it's not okay that they call you mean names and you do not like it when they call you mean names. Being respectful but being assertive about what you need in handling that situation. And lastly, if you're in a situation like this and it's not improving based off the first two skills we've learned, which is ignoring or telling that person assertively to stop name calling, definitely go talk to a grown up. So last lesson we talked about a few grown ups uh, examples that you could ask or speak to, like a teacher or a vice principal or the librarian or the janitor or the secretary. Make sure that you tell a grown-up if the situation does get worse, okay? Can I see some head nods? Yes, very good. So uh, name-calling is not, not a nice thing, right? No, yeah, I see a lot of you shaking your head. Good job. So, first graders, we're going to go all the way back to lesson one, okay? You guys may not remember this picture, but that is why we were reviewing all the way from the beginning so we can refresh our memory with all the skills that we have learned so look at this picture you see this little guy right here this is Zach so you heard about the, the story about Zach who didn't know the listening rules do you guys remember do you guys remember the listening rules who thinks they remember put your hand up who says uh kinda and who says Mr. Sandoval I totally forgot <laughs> and that's okay because we're going to review that today, okay? So instead, Zach didn't listen to the, he didn't use the listening rules, and he was talking to his neighbor, which could be distracting to his neighbor as well as his other classmates. Therefore, he did not pay attention to the teacher on the lesson that she was giving. So sometimes when this happens, we forget what we're learning and then we miss out on our learning. So let's go over some of the listening rules. Okay, so here are all the listening rules, guys. So how many listening rules do you see? Can you guys tell me out loud? How many do you see? Yes, very good. And hold up that many fingers. Four, very good. So as we go by, as we go to each uh, listening rule, let's go ahead and also do the body movement, okay? So the first one is a voice quiet, right? A quiet voice. We put our hands right here on our lips. Voice. The second one is going to be ears listening. Can everyone cup your ears? Very good. Do you see how that made the sound even more clear? Very good. Then we have eyes watching. Put fingers to the corner of your eyes, just like she is. Eyes watching. And then we also want to make sure when we're listening and using, using those listening rules, we have our body still. We hug our torso, put our arms just like the girl in the picture and we keep our bodies still. Very good, okay, so I want you guys to try it doing it one more time. I'll say it out loud, and then I want you to show me the body movement as best as you can, okay? Here we go, so eyes watching. Very good, very good. How about voice quiet? Excellent, excellent. I see everybody's fingers go up to their mouth. How about body still? Ooh, you guys have some, some of your like statues like, oh, body still, good. And how about ears listening? Very good, everyone's cupping up the ears, awesome. So, give me a thumbs up if you guys got all four correct. Yeah, nice, I've seen a lot of you do a really good job. Good job, guys. So remember, can everyone say listening rules? 
Very good. So those are the four listening rules. So make sure we're practicing those now that some of you may or may, even if you're in back, back in school in person, but also using those rules on distance learning. Okay, so moving forward, you guys might ha might remember this story about Tiffany. This is Tiffany. She uh, she needed some help from her teacher, but you can see that she was feeling a little stressed out, right? Because she didn't understand her work. So, in this lesson that we had went over previously, we learned about different ways on how to learn, right? There's being assertive, right? And asking for help from our teacher or being patient to ask help from our teacher. Uh, we focus as best as we can. We listen and we use self-talk. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our uh, the learner song. And we're going to revisit our, our uh, learning skills. Okay. So if you remember the song, sing along. And you can also use uh, do the hand movements that are in the song. And if you remember that, sing along like I said earlier. So. We're going to go ahead and listen to that, okay? Focus, focus, listen, listen, use your self-talk. Be assertive, focus, focus, listen, listen, use your self-talk. Be assertive, focus, focus, listen, listen, use your self-talk. job first graders the best part about that is you guys were all using your uh, learning skills in that so remember to use those skills also again now that you're back in person or if you continue to be on distance learning these are important skills that will help you learn in your class okay all right as we move forward we dive into the next uh, important piece of second step which is recognizing strong feelings here you can see the different types of lessons that we had came across and the different types of feelings or emotions that we recognize in some of our friends that we see here in these photos, correct? So what we're going to do is we're going to learn a review, review this piece, but I have a question for you first graders. Give me a thumbs up if you say, if you think yes, or a thumbs down if you think no. Do you guys think it's okay for people to have different feelings about the same thing? What do you think? Do you think it's okay? Do you think it's not okay? Are you kind of unsure? Good, good. And so to answer that, yes, it is okay that everyone has different feelings about the same thing. This was an important lesson that we learned during our strong feelings. And we're also going to see more about how to calm or calm ourselves down when we have these strong feelings. Learning about these different feelings also helped us practice empathy. Can everyone say empathy? Very good. Empathy allows us to understand or try to understand how another person is feeling, such as our friends. 
So here's a calm down poster. So we're going to do a quick practice. So let's pretend I want you to show me with just your facial expressions, right? Just your face. I want you to show me and pretend we're pretending, right? I want you to pretend you're really angry. What do you, what does your face look like? Urgh, yeah. Some of you are like, oh man, someone, someone ate the last candy bar. Someone took the last donut or, I don't know, Mr. Santa was really hungry right now. <laughs> so these are the steps. If we're feeling really angry, angry, <laughs> angry, these are the steps we would use to calm ourselves down. So what's the first step? Can everyone show me? Yeah, I see some of you put your hand up saying stop. Very good. What would the next one be? What would the next step be? Ooh, yeah, I heard some of you say, I am feeling angry. Very good. Correct. The second step would be name your feelings. So this would be, we're feeling really angry. Good. And the last step, can everyone show me what the last step is? The last step is the calm down where we get to pick something that help us calm down. Ooh, I see a lot of you breathing. <gasps> I saw someone count. I saw someone count to five or also down from five, four, three, two, one. Very good. I saw a lot of people hold their, hold their tummy and take their deep breaths. That's one important way to calm down as well. Good job, first graders. So... Again, give me a thumbs up if you guys feel like you got all the steps down. Did you guys get the steps down? Excellent. Very good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go and listen to our to the Calm Down song, right? Going to practice those steps. So again, sing along if you remember. And I would also encourage you to do the actions that they tell you, like putting your hand on your tummy or using self-talk. Go ahead, follow the follow the song when you watch the video, okay? And make sure you're loose, you're using your listening skills, okay? When your heart is all a flutter and you're panting like a dog, when your legs are feeling shaky and your mind is in a fog, it's time to. Great job, first graders. I saw a lot of you practicing with the song, putting your hands on your tummy, following along with the words. It's a perfect way to practice how to calm down when we have those strong feelings. Very good. So give yourself a pat on the back. That was, that was really good. I'm very impressed with you, first graders. Okay, 
So, you guys might be familiar with this lesson because it hasn't been too long since we came over this one. Um, so this lesson was involving our two friends, Brianna and Anne. Do you guys remember Brianna and Anne? Yeah, they look pretty upset right here, right? What happened is, is they had a problem, right? So they had to use different steps to figure out their problem and come up with solutions. So using this problem was going to help solve their playtime on the monkey bars. So what I want you guys to do now is I want you to think, do you remember the letters from the problem solving steps? Step, problem solving step. <laughs> Some of you are like, yeah, and they're like, mm, maybe not. And that's okay. This is why we're here. We're going to review today. So problem solving steps. Let's spell this together. Okay. Ready? Go. S T E he. What does that spell, anybody? What does that spell? Step. Put it together. Step. Very good. I heard some of you already had it down. Step. Excellent job. So, these are also problem solving steps that you could use when you have a problem, right? Saying the problem without blame would be the first step the S, the S. The second step would be the T. Think of solutions, safe and respectful, right? Think of ways to solve your problem. But as you think about those solutions, we go to our third step, E. Can everyone say E? Very good. Explore consequences. What could happen if, right? We practice thinking about all our solution ideas and then considering what would happen afterwards or when that, if that solution was to occur. And the last step is going to be P. Everyone say P. Pick the best solution. Make your plan. So then you can make your plan together to solve your problem. Very good. Okay, so moving on into our last section. We covered about playing fair. So in this picture, you can see Jarrell and Julian. And they had a bit of a problem when it came to some of the classroom building materials and toys. But they found out that playing in fair ways helped them both have fun. Do you agree? Do you think playing fair would make it easier for everyone to have fun? Yeah, give me a thumbs up. Yeah, very good. So how do we play fair? So does anyone remember the three ways in playing fair? What do you think? Okay, ooh, I heard some good ones. I heard share. I heard, ooh, I heard trading. Someone say trading? Yes. Yes, and I also heard taking turns. Very good. That is awesome. So what we're going to do is we are going to, we are going to listen to our last song, the Fair Ways to Play song. So again, how many ways is there to play? Or I'm sorry, yes. How many fair ways is there to play? Hold up your fingers. How many fair ways? Very good. I see three. I see three. Can everyone say three? Very good. Three fairways. Okay, so we're going to watch our last song video. And please, again, if you can sing along, that would be great, okay? When we both want the new, new toy, right at the same, same time. When we both start to rap, rap it, what, what can we do? We can share, we can trade, we can take turns with each other. We can share, we can trade, let's take turns with one another now. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la. When we both want the red, red paint, right at the same, same time. We can share, we can trade, we can take turns with each other. We can share, we can trade, let's take turns with one another now. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la. When we both want the cool, cool bike, right at the same, same time. When we both start to grab, grab it, what, what can we do? 
job listening for our first graders so again three ways to share right um trading taking turns and sharing so i meant three ways we can play <laughs> sorry about that so first graders this is your opportunity to share what you have learned so teachers if you'd like you can pause the video um do a quick share out or um pair share um, with your students just to hear some of their feedback so, and stu first graders I want you to share with your classmates or your teacher uh, what lesson do you feel like you learned the most what stood out to you and it's okay to have the same answer as someone else these are a lot of great lessons so go ahead and pause the video if you want to so first graders I hope you got to share what you've learned but when it's all said and done, you guys have learned so much. And I'm sure a lot stood out to you, but you guys have done such an amazing job with all the lessons we have learned here in the second step. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the last lesson. However, I might be stopping around, who knows, to come and remind you on some lessons and to check in on you to see how well you're using those skills in your classroom and also through distance learning. Um, first graders, I want you guys to give yourself a big round of applause, give yourself a pat on the back, do a little dance. You guys did an amazing job. You should be so proud of yourself. And I hope that you continue to use these lessons in your classroom, distance learning at home, on the playground, wherever you are. And I am so glad to have been able to give these lessons to you. Mr. Sandal was so grateful for you first graders. And I hope to see you guys soon again. So with that said, great job, everybody. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Good job.